Hey everyone, I'm Jake and I'm a resident assistant here at UNCSA. This spring we just moved into Artist Village, which is a brand new residence hall for undergraduate students. I'm super happy to call this place my home and today I'm going to be showing you around a little bit. We're gonna start our tour on the east wing of the Artist Village. And the very first thing you see when you walk in is the front desk. Hi, Danae. Hey, Jake, how are you? Good, and you? Good. Uh, my name's Danae Spencer. I'm one of the area coordinators here at UNCSA. Um, I oversee Jake and some of the other RAs here. Uh, right now, I'm working the front desk. We typically have someone sitting here from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. Um, it's myself or another worker in the morning and then some RAs at night. We typically help students with lockouts, immediate maintenance concerns, or any other questions they have about the building if they need help. Cool. Thanks, Danae. To continue our tour, we're going to go into the main lounge of the first floor. And as you can see, <clears throat> there's all sorts of cool chairs, tables, a couch, and even a big TV for watching movies. At the end of the lounge, we have one of two kitchens that are in Artist Village. I have to say, when I moved in here, I couldn't believe just how nice this space is. It's a full service kitchen. There's a stove, an oven, a sink, a microwave, and plenty of pots and pans to use. I see some of my friends in here almost every night cooking, and I think we're really lucky to have it. Now over here, we have the pod market, which doesn't look like much yet, but soon it'll be stocked with snacks, drinks, and pre-made meals. So if you're hungry late at night, the pickle jar is closed, the calf's closed, you can always come downstairs here and get something to eat. Now this is the laundry room. We actually have two laundry rooms in Artist Village and each have plenty of machines. So I haven't had any problems yet finding a free machine to use, cross my fingers. It's actually really simple to pay for your laundry. You just select the machine that your clothes are in, scan your card to pay, and it's as easy as that. In Artist Village, we do have a pair of elevators, which I have to say I'm very grateful for. <clears throat> During a couple years of moving, I had to carry so many boxes, mini fridges, couches up those stairs, so this is gonna make moving a lot easier. Now let's take a look into one of the suites. Everyone in Artist Village lives in a suite, which is a common space and two bedrooms. The shared spaces include a toilet, sinks, a microwave, freezer, fridge combo included with the room, and a shower room. This is what the bedrooms look like. In a single room, there's a dresser, a desk, a chair, a bed, and a nightstand. And in a double room, there's two of everything. A couple fun facts about Artist Village. It's right across the street from the fitness center, and the beds are actually super comfortable. On just about every floor of Artist Village, there's a study room. The study rooms are a place where you can go to be productive. So whether that's doing homework, having a review session for a test, or reading a book, you can always come to a study room. And for the last stop of our tour, the east and west wings of Artist Village are connected by a bridge that has three levels, and on each level, there's a lounge. I have to say, this is probably my favorite place in Artist Village because there's windows on either side. It snowed here a few weeks ago, which doesn't happen that often, and I just sat here and watched the snow fall. Great place to hang out, watch movies. Your RA is probably going to host some events in here. Really, really cool communal space. Thanks for joining us on the tour today. I've only been living in Artist Village for a couple weeks, and I already love it. I think it'll make UNCSA an even greater place to be.